what I'm going to talk a little bit about is targets and how companies set those and give an example. Um, and then I'm going to come back to the last point, which is uh, market-friendly or business-friendly environmental policy. Uh, my sense is that we've already discussed in the previous lectures numbers two, three, and four. That is, measure value and report your footprint using and improving tools for biodiversity management and building biodiversity business. So uh, I'll focus on one and five. And I've already mentioned some examples of companies that have set um, what uh, seem like ambitious or sometimes heroic or uh, maybe aspirational targets with respect to um, biodiversity and other ecosystem services. And we can see this pretty much across the board in, in uh, every major economy and many well-known uh, brands um, where companies are making commitments on a voluntary basis that uh, they don't have to do. Uh, and that can sometimes be a stimulus to, to uh, uh, action inside the company and increase scrutiny from outside the company. The big global institutions and most of the scientific community continue to push this line and you see it again and again in some of the seminal reports such as the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment came out in 2005 talking about not just valuation but integrating those values into economic decision making reforming subsidies, paying for ecosystem services, uh, reducing unsustainable consumption, and using a variety of, of economic instruments to try and promote more conservation and restoration. And it, it might be helpful to think a little bit about what does that mean in practice? What are we actually talking about? If you boil it down, um, essentially we're comparing different practices, different types of production, different types of consumption, some are more damaging than others. Um, and very simply, what we want to do is to increase the costs of the unsustainable practice um, and decrease the costs of the more sustainable models. And on the flip side, we want to reduce the benefits of the unsustainable practice and increase the economic benefits of the, the more sustainable choice. And there are a range of different mechanisms that we can use in those four different uh, boxes to try and achieve those increases or decreases in costs and benefits. 